Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Are you a teacher who's looking for ways to get started with generative AI? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Magic School AI. Let's dig in. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is head over to magicschool.ai and you'll find a link in the description below. Once you're here, come up to the top right or down here under four teachers, you can sign up for free. All right, once you get signed up, you'll see this window where you can set up your profile and information about yourself. It's not necessary, but I'm gonna go ahead and save what's there. Here, you'll see some of the best practices around using Magic School AI. And really, these are best practices in general for using AI. Check for the bias and accuracy. Use the 80-20 approach. Your judgment matters. Know the limits and protect your privacy. All right, so the first thing you'll notice here on your landing page is that you have your magic tools. This is a list of different tools you can use for various purposes. Underneath that, you're gonna see the Reina chatbot. This is where you can have a human-like conversation with AI through chat. Underneath that, you'll have your output history. This is where you're going to see all of the different sessions and content that you've created. This allows you to get back into them if you wanna access them in the future. All right, first let's look at magic tools. So here, as you scroll down, you're going to see a variety of different tools to use for different purposes. Also, at the top, you have filters. Maybe you're looking for something to help you with planning, or maybe you're looking for things to help you generate content, or maybe you're looking for question generators. You can go ahead and click on these different filters to get down to those specific tools. I'm gonna to go back to all, and I'm gonna scroll down and just show you some of the things here. First, we have the multiple choice assessments. This is great for when you want to create some multiple choice questions for your students. So when you click into this, it's actually gonna step you through the process by asking you for important information. For example, it's gonna ask me for the grade level so I can make that selection. Then it's gonna ask me how many questions do I want in my quiz? I have those different options here. Finally, I'm gonna provide the topic, standard, text, or description of the assessment. So an example here is showing us a diagnostic assessment about the following standards. Another example is large block of text that is an excerpt from the Great Gatsby or other text. You can also simply type in a concept like mitosis, or you can do a vocabulary quiz and specify the specific words that need to be in the quiz. In this example, as you guessed it, I'm going to create a quiz for the students at my School of Rock. Right! Yeah! I'll simply type the history of new wave music and I'll click generate. And boom shakalaka, the questions are generated for me. We've got five of them with multiple choice options and we even have an answer key down at the bottom. Now, if I want, I can go here to actions and I can translate this into another language. I can click questions and, and look for some other options like free response. I can click on length and make it shorter or longer. I could summarize it. And of course we have all these other options as well. Scrolling back up to the top, we can edit the prompt by modifying our original content and generating again. And off to the right, we'll see tools pop up like copy, save resource, and export to Google Docs, Google Forms, Microsoft Forms, Microsoft Word, and print. So if you wanted your students to take this on paper, you could go ahead and copy this, paste it into a Word document, print it out. If you'd like it to be an online quiz, you can go to export and export it to Microsoft Forms. All right, let's go back. Let's take a look at another one. As we scroll down, we're gonna see things like report card comments, lesson plan, text rewriter, 
YouTube video questions. Let's check this one out. All right, when you go in here, it's gonna ask us again for the grade level. It's gonna ask us for the number of questions we would like and the question type. Here we simply paste in the website address of our video. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to YouTube where I have a video that my students will be watching. I'll go ahead and click share, copy, and I'll come back to Magic School AI, paste in with the Control V shortcut, and I'll go ahead and click generate. And boom shakalaka, just like that, Magic School analyzed the transcript of the video and created three multiple choice questions. Also, in the answer key, they provided the timestamp where this information can be found in the video. All right, let's go back to our tools and just want to call out that there is so much here for you to explore you can do things like compose professional emails generate ieps level text summarize text generate songs even generate teacher jokes you know you gotta have those in your lessons so this is really, really neat in that it helps you discover ways that you can utilize generative AI and it steps you through the process. All right, let's jump over to the Arena chatbot. Here is where we can begin having a conversation about anything we'd like to do or plan or create. Here's some examples. How can I find local professionals to speak in my class? How can I make learning about global economies engaging, etc.? So you can click on one of these or come down and type your own question. I like this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on finding local professionals to speak. And look at that. We're immediately given ways to find local professionals to speak to my class. And of course, we can continue having the conversation here with Reina. For example, I might say, I'm looking for professionals in the music industry. And look at that. We have five ideas there as well. Okay, under actions, we can click on this. And again, we can translate this. And we have all these other tools as well. And if we look at output history, Check this out. So we have a history of the things that we've created. Here's my video with the review questions. Here's my generated quiz on new wave music. So it's all here for me to get back to. Now you're probably wondering, well, what do I have access to on the free account? If we click down here on upgrade, you're going to see here the difference between the free account and the plus account. Additionally, you have an enterprise account that you can utilize as well. And scrolling down further, you're gonna see the details of what the free account provides. All right, and that is how you use magicschool.ai. If you liked this video, consider subscribing and give it a like. You can also send in tutorial requests in the link in the description.